Okay, warning folks, this video contains scenes of an extreme nature and I don't condone any of it. Any persons uh, on this are either plastic people, real ones, or paid actors, or either professional stuntmen, women, or madheads. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything you see in this video, it's simply mad crackers, and if you're afraid of potential life-threatening situations, don't watch it any further. Liberty Junction, its owners and sponsors, will not be held responsible if you fall from a 12-inch viaduct to your death. Thank you. It's full of crackers, isn't it? I've got to put warnings on stuff nowadays, but uh, I ain't got any sponsors anyway, so uh, there's no worry about them. Anyway, enough of that. If you remember back in early episodes, I had a photographer on my uh, layout taking photos, and to stop him, I put this advert on Extreme Chain Spotter magazine, uh, basically saying that Liberty Junction is the place to come if you want your decent photographs and any rare numbers of trains. Anyway, it's done me no favours at all, and this is the footage I've got from that, and uh, I can't get rid of them. And my security team's still tied up with them uh, lads who've been doing graffiti back in early episodes as well, so he can't get involved at the minute. And he seems to have some sidelines going on at the minute, because I don't see him half the time. Got to say on a bit of a side note as well, I do get worried when I put uh, my crafting build videos out, and they get me a load of new subscribers, and then they don't know what they're in for, do they? Because they don't realise that some of my stuff's mad crackers like this. So, uh, if you're new, I apologise if you weren't expecting this. I hope you like it, but if you don't like it, then apologies. I can't just build stuff all the time. One, my brain's not got the capacity to think of new things like that. And two, they're into two. Anyway, if you are new, uh, I do a balance. I do a few uh, half-sensible ones. I do a few that are a little bit crackers. And I do a few build ones. And I try and have a bit of a chat and a bit of a laugh with people. So, uh that's what we're all about. It's more of a club than a uh, YouTube channel. Anyway, back on subject. There's a bit of a buzz around today because uh, Intercity 125's due on to uh, Mainline and it's not been around for a while, so Extreme Train Spotters are really buzzing. I'll tell you what, just on a side note, look at the sheer size of those beauties. Can you just appreciate how magnificent they look? That 37 and that 56, they're just superb machines, aren't they? <laughs> you're so wrong if you're thinking other things you're so wrong great sorry about that what we're going to do we're going to send this 37 he's got a big train of wagons to pull round and he's going to be taking them round main line all the way around and then hopefully we'll get to see Intercity 125 that's due to come in it's a real special train they've, uh, they've not had it in several episodes so they're all giddy and look, looking forward to that Last time it were here, they all started gathering out viaduct and everywhere, and it was just getting a little bit dangerous. I've had health and safety on my back about fixing that fence, and I ain't got round to it yet because my car's been dodgy, hasn't it? So I've been focusing on that. Anyway, let's hope for all goes uh, swimmingly, and we can just have a nice, peaceful episode. Got to say, folks, I'm liking my new fence. I don't know what you guys think, but I quite like that in background with uh, security fence in foreground of it. Nice little area, put a bit of bushing in as well so it's not just uh, plain. Cavalex is going to back up and collect a couple of them PFA wagon flats and he's going to take them round uh, full loop at layout later on, I think, pending out day goes. These police have been quizzing that woman there now for about three episodes, so I don't know what she's got in the pockets, but they're certainly uh, not leaving her alone, are they? Other trains we've got running today, we've got Class 47 running some uh, Backman coaches around Upper Loop. And we've also got a Cura Scale Class 37 running some wagons around Upper Loop. The magnetic couplings for them Ombi ones, still, I've not had one fail yet, I've not had one come uncoupled, I've not had any issues whatsoever. I'm going to order a couple more packs uh, once I get paid and then uh, finish that entire train off because I've got a few missing still. So Bob the cameraman's here, look, facing, he's waiting for Intercity 125, he's quite excited. There's 47 running uh, them coaches that are about to come uncoupled because their uh, couplings aren't so good. Everyone's getting excited now, there's, uh, oh, you're joking, what's she doing on there? What is she doing on there? Get her, security, get, get her down. You're going to have to send one at gatekeepers to her, he's near her now. Get him on lines and get that train stopped. Oh, do you know, I thought this was going to happen today. Of all days, we've got a big train coming and, uh, yeah, this is happening. Absolute nonsense, isn't it? Driver, you're going to, try, you're going to have to try and blow her off. Gear some air on and try and knock her off. Yeah, that's not working, is it? She's uh, she's black tacked on. That's the problem. 
It's a rate product, isn't it? It's not cheap, though. Right, gatekeeper, get her down for me, please. I'm sick of, I'm sick of this. It's getting crackers now. I bet you're wondering how long I'm going to keep pushing this gatekeeper uh, gag for. Hey, up security, man, what's that? Bloke stood on edge, let's have a look. Get security uh, office, can you get this camera moved? There we go, let's have a little look. Suppose if he stood on top, he's not, he's not in arms. Well, it's not ideal, though, that is it. He's right on edge, could fall, it's about. It's a good 30 feet, that, mate. You need to get your send down. Can, uh, can you have a word with him, security, get him down? Let's have a look what Bob Cameraman's doing. Had a bit of decent feedback up. Oh, here we go. What are they doing there? They're on live line. Get security cameraman. Get me back on them. Get me back on them. That's that's HST's line. Oh my god, this is emergency. This they're gonna get absolutely splattered. What's he doing with a barrel on line? How's this even happening? Can we get we're gonna have to get points changed? We're gonna have to get him onto the uh, quarry line. Get the points changed. Let's hope it doesn't derail. Let's hope it can hold the speed because I can hear him. It's too late to do anything else. We're going to have to get a caution online as quick as we can. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's good. They're going to be gone, aren't they? Oh, look at that. That were lucky. That were lucky as that. I wonder what it looked like for them. Decent. Guess we're going to get to find out. Anyway, I was saying I got a bit of feedback on my uh, Z21 business. So, uh, look at that. We're going to blow this. Oh, yes. They're loving that. They're loving that, but it's not for us, it's not safe. Oh, there we have it, folks. Full caution on lines, everything's going to be slowed down now. So, yeah, the Z21 business did all right, so I'll do a little bit more on that. Someone's asking for a bit more, uh, well, I've had a two or three. So, yeah, I'll do a bit more on that at some point. Just got to get through this episode, I think. And my 47's turned into a bit of a push me pull, you auntie is pushing coaches and pulling them because it's come uncoupled in tunnel and I didn't notice and I can't be bothered retaking all that now. What can I say? People were still saying to me to get them uh, couplings. I'm not going to name them anymore. I'm going to speak the words. Unless he buys me a black 911 with 20 inch wheels and uh, full winter pack. I don't know if you picked up on that. That policeman said he can still hear something going on inside there. So I don't know if I'm still dragging that little scene out. But that's weeks and weeks ago, isn't it? So who knows? Ah, this makes sense. Big Boss must have got a drone man to lift. That's decent because we need that. Let's see what's going on now, right? We've got an extreme train spotter on top of that container. Blue container, if you can see, he's about 12 year old. So that's one there. Let's have another look. Oh, we've got one stood right on top of the viaduct. And we've still got that one on train. Why, it's train moving. I said we're stopping train. Who's let that go? Oh, my. We're going to have to get these stopped. Tell you what, I hope gold, green jacket and green hat don't fall off there because that is certain death. Look at that, all the way down there. Yeah, let's have a look, drone man. If we can just get him to do a bit to the left, see what's going on over there. Oh, we've got one stood up there. Look on other look, top line up bridge. Oh, it's original cameraman and all look. Looks to me like he's had a fresh leg operation because when I lifted him up, his leg snapped clean off. So he's uh, had to have a little bit of surgery with super glue. But he's fixed. He's fighting fit. Look at the size of that cow. That's a bit crap. What's going on here? Look at the size of that crazy cow. Oh, do you know what this might be? Ladderman the other day, we were on about it, ordered on Dark Weber, big old bean. Oops, got some kind of ray gun. I hope he's not used that on the cow, because that is absolutely crackers mad. Oh my God, I met drone crash. Well, if it's not my freshly weathered uh, 97 experiment, with its freshly cleaned windows that you can see right through again now, look. Nice. got to say, you know, I... Uh, can't wait to do some more loco weathering. I really enjoyed it. I've had quite a few people say that uh, they're, they were in a similar position. They've not got round to weathering yet and they're a bit nervous to do so. What I can say to that is, if you send them here, I can weather them for you. Just send them to uh, Ladderman's Free Gift of a Train, Premium Models Only, Liberty Junction Station, Liberty Junction, uh, PO Box 3740, and uh, yeah, I'll get them weathered, that'd be brilliant. Uh, no comebacks. I can only really do premium sound fitted models though, folks. I can't really do anything less than that. But uh, yeah, that'd be great. Anyway, back to the video, what we've got coming around here now. Oh, it's good old red buffers. Oh, red buffers, I say I've still not got round to sorting them out yet. No, you haven't, but not to worry. 
Anyway, my missus did me a solid. She, uh, Libby's done a uh, school summer camp day today, so I've been able to get a bit of filming done, as you can see by this video, which I weren't expecting. I've got to say, you know, I like them without any containers on. They look probably better without containers on than with containers on, don't they? Uh, and that's an old Ormby one that I got off uh, a mate called Steve a while ago in a bit of a deal. I've shoved some of them uh, on the magnetic couplers on it so it works a treat now. I didn't particularly like coupling on it before. It used to get a bit tangled up. But look at this, though. There's four people on there. Why, is, why has that been allowed to happen? I mean, he's going to get some rate. He's going to get, like, Bob the Cameraman-style shots with that. He's going to make some rate money. That's not what we want. He's filming that idiot, look. Oh, my goodness. It's still going on. What's he doing there? That cow's got a really loud moo. Oh no, it's knocked him off with sound. It must have made him jump. And he's fallen. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he'll survive because he's fell into a river, but it ain't a river. I've not put any water in it yet. It's one of the things I've been putting off because it's like resin and I've never used it before and I think I'm going to ruin it, so I've never bought any. And that's probably cost him his life, hasn't it? Oh, I hope he's all right. Oh, I hope he's all right. Yeah, it's definitely not all right. It's definitely not all right. Censor this. Censor this. That's, uh, oh man, censor it. Kind of makes you think if Ladderman didn't have that big old beam, would this have ever happened with that cow mooing? Going to have to go, I think, folks. Going to have to get this cleared up. There's a fair chance this video is going to cost me a few subscribers, isn't there? Let's face it. It's not really going to get any madder than this, folks. That were a bit of an extreme one. Just trying to cater for everyone. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Cheers, see you next time.